If you are young and looking to get rich, let me tell you about house hacking. And why do I say young? Because when you get older and you have a family and you have kids, it's a little bit more inconvenient. It's not saying that you can't do it, but if you're young and you want to get rich, this is what I want you to do. Whether you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, or you just have a best friend that you want to live with, this is what you do. You go out and you buy a duplex and you and your friend live in one side of the duplex. Ideally, you'll get a two by one, two bedrooms, one bath, and then you have two of those. So you and your friend live. So basically you're gonna split the bills just in your duplex alone. Then the tenant is going to also pay you for the other one. Now you can buy this property with three and a half percent down. I know there's all a group of people out there that'll make fun of this video and stuff like that and be like, well, you just buy one, buy two, and blah, blah, blah. But seriously, look at this. In Michigan, you can buy a duplex as low as uh, 100K. So with you and your friend, 3.5% down on 100K is $3,500. And then you have some closing costs. So out the door, you're probably right around $7,000 that you can buy this duplex with an FHA loan, 3.5% down, 30 years, fixed rate mortgage. And so you could buy one between you and your friends splitting the bills of your side and the tenant paying the bills. I said, you're gonna to start to make a surplus of capital every month because the tenant's covering your mortgage, your insurance, your taxes, and then all the money that you would normally be spending on rent, you and your roommate now can save. And then a year for, later from now, you can go and buy another duplex. You write your bank, you either move 25 miles away, you write your bank, hey, I gotta move, or whatever the excuse is, you write your bank, and then you become eligible for another FHA loan. And you essentially could do this every year for 10 years until you get to 10 conventional loans. Now, the neat thing is if you invest with a friend, a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, whoever it is, then you could actually get 20 conventional loans. So you just put it in one of your names for one property, and then the next property you put in the other person's name, and then the next property you put in your name. So you could have 10 properties per person, but 20 total between the two of you. Now, obviously, if you wanna do this method, you really need to trust the person that you're investing in with maybe put them in some kind of trust. You can't put them in an LLC because you cannot qualify for conventional lending in an LLC because then it's considered a business and it has to be business lending. So, but these are the ways that you could start investing at the ages of 20, 21, 22, with simply, basically, the two of you together gotta to come up with $3,500. I mean, most people could do that in two to three years. Save up, put some money aside, and just start investing slowly. And then year over year, you just buy another property. And then so after you buy the first one, and then you move into the second one, now that property cash flows even more because now you have two tenants in the first unit. And then you buy that second one, and so you just build up that surplus of capital. And something I like to do when I buy my properties is all my money for my rental properties goes to one bank and I don't even see that money. It just, it lives out in oblivion. And then that money strictly used for reinvesting. And then you take the money from your W-2 job and you try to pay most of your bills out of that. And so you just separate it. So for more tips and encouragement like this, I'm telling you, house hacking can make you rich as long as you're willing to sacrifice some comforts for a short period of time.